Someone is at the verge of losing all hope. Someone is at the verge of losing all hope because something, an aspect of their lives is not going the way they planned or the way they anticipated. But God says this word is for you. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorine. I have a prophetic word for someone. And this word is coming to us from the book of Acts chapter 27 from verse 20 to verse 24. And it says, And when neither sun nor stars in many days appeared, and no small tempest lay on us, all hope that we should be saved was then taken away. I don't know if there's someone that you are at the verge of losing hope about that you've trusted God, but you are in a point where you are not seeing the sun or the stars. It seems to be so dark. It seems to be so dark in this, maybe in your marriage, in your finances, in this part. There is just this part of your life that the light doesn't seem to be shining in on. That, that you see, it feels like you are losing hope in that aspect of your life. Or maybe you know someone that this word is for. He says, but after... Verse 21 says, but after long abstinence, Paul stood forth in the midst of them and said, Sirs, ye should have hearkened unto me and not have loosed from crate and to have gained this arm um, and loss. And now I exhort you to be of good cheer. This is the word for someone now. He says, I exhort you to be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you, but of the sheep. For there stood by me this night the angel of God, whose I am and whom I serve, saying, Fear not, Paul, thou must be brought before Caesar, and, Lord God, has given thee all of them that sell with thee. God says, I should tell you, fear not, there shall be no loss. Fear not, there shall be no loss. Fear not, there shall be no loss. I know you're at the point of losing hope. I know you're at the point of losing hope. You feel like your life is not getting better. You are losing your marriage. You are losing. I don't know who I'm talking to, but God says, I should tell you, there shall be no loss. You will not lose your life. You will not lose your health. You will not lose your marriage. You will not lose your finances. You will not lose your job. You will not lose your mind. You will not lose your joy. You will not lose your opportunity. You will not lose it. There shall be no loss. God says, I should tell someone, there shall be no loss. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who I'm here for. But God says, I should tell you, there shall be no loss. There shall be no loss. There shall be no loss. That aspect of your life that is falling apart, God says, there shall be no loss. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. I don't know who I'm talking to. But I know this is certainly a word for someone. Hallelujah. If you felt like this was your word, this word is for you. And you feel led to, to connect to it, to sow a seed. You might just check the description box. you see the cash up and the PayPal there. Or you can just hit on that super thanks and you're still good to go. God bless you. Shalom.